It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. The Giant. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Oh, yeah. Ready. Every time we walk into this here Madison Square Garden, I think I will always think about you in 2017. It was UFC 217 Championship Triple Header, and it was the worst. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. Bisping St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Joanna Young Jacek, and we absolutely went crazy the greatest figures of announcing in sports history. It was all three of us. We looked like that poster of the monkeys. See no huh. evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that's a good right hand. 
Under two minutes now to go in round one. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Well, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach, it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And a nice left hand there on the inside. Misses with that punch. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? And that one was heavy. Oh! Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to train. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch. And we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Good punch. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize him coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Punches blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Both fighters throwing heat now. Great punch. Oh, Superman punch. Nice hook. Oh, oh. big knee. Oh, he's like, whoa! He needs to start looking to finish this because he's got to recover her very bad. Shot lands. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much. Oh, punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Blocks the shot. Nice slip to avoid the left. All right, single collar time. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, oh, those are, oh, oh. oh. Perfect. 
It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Big kick. A oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Seconds winding down in round two. Great punch landed with so much power. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Big shot lands. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh! He's out! Wow! What a fight! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found a shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer is in the Ladies octagon with the official decision. is called to stop to this contest at 13 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.